Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge, and in today's video, I'm going to take you along with me through my entire process of packing my kids for their first international trip ever. I'm gonna be sharing what I'm packing for snacks and activities on the plane. I'll also show you how I'm keeping all of the clothes, the toiletries, and all of the little extras organized. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I kind of leaked where we're going a few days ago. But if you haven't already heard, we are heading to London. This flight is going to be eight and a half hours. It is nonstop, thank goodness. And we're flying on Virgin Atlantic for the very first time. While we're in the UK, we're also hoping to spend some time exploring other areas of England as well, and a few days in Scotland. For this trip, we're trying to pack as light as we can, which is definitely a challenge for me. Now I've been hearing a lot about lost luggage at Heathrow Airport, so we're not gonna be checking any luggage, trying to avoid that. We're just gonna be taking one small suitcase and one backpack for each person in the family. Now, because the kids' old suitcases were literally falling apart, we decided to upgrade them with these new ones from Target. Now, so far, I really like them. They are a smaller size, so hopefully they'll be okay and we won't have to end up checking them. And then for their backpacks, we decided to go with these ones from Amazon. Number one, because they are waterproof. I've heard that it rains quite a lot in England, so waterproof is great. Number two, these backpacks have a space for the kids' tablets. That's great because they will be bringing some of their schoolwork along with them. And then number three, these backpacks also came in the right colors. And you guys, one of the things you're probably going to notice is that each member of our family has their own assigned color, especially when we're traveling. That way we can easily look at a bag or a suitcase and easily be able to tell who it belongs to just by seeing what color it is. So for my oldest daughter, Mackenzie, most of her things are red with a few pink things thrown in. For Lily, her color is purple. For Jackson, his color is green. And then for my youngest, Griffin, his color is blue. Now you guys, usually when it comes to packing, I really like to be organized and I like to be prepared, but I'm also usually an overpacker. So for this trip, I tried to avoid doing anything last minute and I started early and I used a couple of systems to help keep everything organized. First, I used some of these pop-up laundry bins and in here I gathered each person's like items. So in one bin, I had everybody's neck pillows. In another one, I had everybody's personal bags, so like their purses or their fanny packs went in there. In one of the bins, I gathered up everybody's packing cubes and their liquids bag. And then I had one more bin for everybody's toiletry bag or their hair and makeup bag. <laughs> then you guys, over on my dining room table, I set out lots of these plastic bins from Target. And I used these bins to collect all of the little extras, so like toiletries, hair care products, medicines, makeup items, socks, blankets, activities for the plane, things like that. Having everything laid out like this made it much easier for the kids to come and pick and choose the things that they needed. And then finally, for everybody's clothes, I ended up using two of my clothing racks. On the first clothing rack, I just hung up lots of different choices for everybody. Then the kids were able to go through the different choices, try things on, and then they were able to pick out the outfits they actually wanted to bring. Oh yes, and to keep everything organized, I did use these little dividers with each person's name on them so we knew which clothes belonged to who. Now you guys, we are actually gonna be gone for three weeks, but there's no way that we could fit three weeks of clothes in our suitcases. So what we decided to do was to focus on having one outfit specifically for the plane. That outfit's gonna be something super comfy. And then after that, we focused on just packing three more outfits, one set of pajamas, 
four days worth of socks and underwear, and a nice warm jacket. And then another way that I organize the clothes is to use packing cubes. And you guys, I've been using packing cubes for years, and I actually love them. Now, I personally don't think that they save space, but that's not why I use them. I actually use them to keep things organized. Now, I love packing cubes because each person has their own set. These sets come with clothing bags, but they also come with dirty laundry bags and shoe bags as well. And again, each family member has their own color of packing cube, so I can easily tell whose is whose. Plus you guys, by using these packing cubes, if for any reason our suitcase is opened, going through security, nothing's gonna fall out and those TSA agents won't be staring at our underwear. Now in the girls' suitcases and in my suitcase, we also have an extra bag. That's to keep all of our hair accessories, our jewelry that we might have, and our makeup, things like that, we will keep in these bags. And you guys, just as a side note, I do have a huge bag that I call my everything bag, and that's going in my suitcase. This is where I'm keeping all of my makeup, my makeup brushes. I also have all of my toiletries in here. I have my glasses, my contacts. I have my nail supplies. And I also have this really cute little travel jewelry box. This has just enough space for earrings and necklaces that I like to wear when I'm traveling. This bag is kind of also our little travel first aid kit. So I have lots of things like that in here. And then I also have one more section for some water multipliers and some vitamin C. Next, you guys, we have the liquids bags and everybody in the family has their own. Now, I found these color coordinated ones on Amazon and they claim to be TSA approved. So I'm hoping that they are. I guess we'll see, I'll update you guys if they didn't like these. But basically in here, each person has enough space to add whatever liquids they think they're going to need. As you can see, Mackenzie and I have the most stuff and hopefully this will be enough to last three weeks. Now, most likely these bags will have to be pulled out of our bags and placed in the bins as they go through security. And speaking of going through security, that brings me to the snacks. Now, I know this might look like a lot of snacks, especially since on our flight, they will offer a meal. But honestly, I don't know what that meal is going to be or if the kids are even going to like it. So I'm definitely bringing plenty of snacks. Plus, we are gonna be getting to the airport around lunchtime. So some of these things are actually going to be having for lunch while we're waiting for our plane. Now, as far as all these snacks goes, they should be just fine to take through security. We just have to make sure that all the fruit is going to be gone before we get off the plane. And you guys, I'm making sure to put these in some clear Ziploc bags because in the past, we've had some TSA agents ask us to put our snacks in the bin to go through the scanner, just like our liquids. And you guys, I love these bags from Target because they're actually reusable. That way I can go ahead and refill these with snacks for our flight home. Now that brings me to the activities. Our flight is leaving after lunchtime, but before dinner. 
So that means the kids are going to have a couple of hours to play before they'll hopefully get some sleep. Now the plane we're going to be on should hopefully have some movies for the kids to watch. And the kids will each have their tablets, their headphones, a charger, so they should be good to go. But you guys, other than that, I am throwing in lots of extras, and they're not going to be just for the plane. Once we're in the UK, we're also going to be traveling by car and by train. So some of these activities will be for those travels as well. Many of these items either came from the Target dollar spot or from Five Below. Now to make things on the plane as comfortable as possible, I'm also going to be bringing plenty of disinfecting wipes. I also have a special chapstick for each person because it gets really dry up there. Next, I have a collection of cozy socks that people can choose from. I also have several of these travel blankets. These are nice and compact. And then you guys, each person in the family picked out their own special travel pillow. And everybody picked out something a little different. For Griffin, he picked out this small squishy one. Lily picked out this super soft rainbow one. Mackenzie picked out more of a square shaped pillow. And Jackson picked out this inflatable version that also comes with an attached hood. Now I went ahead and picked out this one that kind of wraps around. And then my husband picked out this inflatable one that actually sits on the tray table in front of you. And there you have it guys, that is pretty much everything. I know it's kind of a lot, but it's six people and we're gonna be gone several weeks. Now I will have a backpack and suitcase and so will my husband. And of course we'll have our own snacks and camera gear because we are hoping to make some videos while we are traveling. And of course, don't worry about our little kitty pumpkin. We do have a house sitter that's coming to stay with her and look after her. Now, I hope you found this video interesting and that it helps you the next time you're packing for your own trip. Now, if you guys have any suggestions of what we should do while we're in the UK, definitely leave those in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video from London.